Hello, I am Tomás, and I'm a water stories practitioner. We work in Centro de Estudios Agua Tierra, startup that we have in Chile, where we develop projects to restore the landscape for different purposes, uniting the knowledge of syntropic agriculture and water retention landscapes. I've been trying for a long time in my life to be someone that, as much as I could, heal the earth. When I was a kid, I was part of the Boy Scouts and I had the chance to travel a lot in Chile. I was in a hike in a place called Torres del Paine. We're in the middle of nowhere in a beautiful place and suddenly I found like a pack of paper wraps of some candies and I said, no, no, this can't be happening. This can't be happening in the middle of nowhere in the most pristine place and that's like when I kind of received my call that I, I need to do something about it, to be an activist of taking some steps back that we have done as humanity. So I was part of the first generation of the Water Stories core course. It was, I could say, like a gift somehow. The fact of being able to have this time to talk not only with uh, SAC as a teacher, but also with the whole community that it's been built. And to realize that the problems that I am facing in this part of the world are super similar to the ones that are facing other people in different parts of the world gives me like a sense of unity. Cre the creation of this kind of community, it's been super hopeful for me in, in this process. There's so many details in this that only experience can give you. So this intensive, I've been waiting for it for a long time, like almost since I finished the core course. As we have been implementing different things, many doubts come, so it's been a good space for that. To also know the details of the how to do the different things that we are uh, shown or taught in the core course. It's been super intensive and intense, and that's what we ask for, so we better go for it. <laughs> I think that the most important thing is to experiment and keep experiment and after each action to have the time for the observation of what happens after I intervene in some place. Of course, it opens the door. It depends on us how far do we want to go walking that path. I would encourage you to keep going for it. Just try. And if you mess it, learn and that's it.